Hello and welcome to New Start Now. I'm Don McIntosh and today I'm happy you're with us, but I'm also happy that Dr. Michael Orlitz is with us. W welcome, Doctor. Glad to be here with you, Don. Welcome back, first of all. You worked here for a number of years at the New Start program. It's great to be back at Weimar at the New Start program. And you're doing some more training in preventive medicine at Loma Linda University. Today we want to talk about a familiar acronym, that's the New START acronym, but the part we want to talk about specifically in that acronym is E for exercise. Oh, and it's a very, very important part. And why is it? Exercise is so beneficial for so many things. You know, people have been looking for thousands of years for a panacea, something that would just help everything. Mm -hmm. And exercise is about as close as we get. Recently, the American College of Sports Medicine, along with other groups, have started a campaign, and they call it Exercise is Medicine. Mm. They want to recognize within the medical community that exercise is as powerful a medicine as you can get. So, uh, are there different types of exercise? Uh, what can you tell us about what kind of exercise we should have? You know, exercise can uh, help keep you in good shape and prevent so many diseases, and it's good to have a sense for what type of exercises are beneficial. The biggest one that uh, we need to focus on first is called aerobic exercise. Mm -hmm. This is basically the type of exercises you can do while kind of keeping your breath at the same time. It's those endurance exercises. Walking, power walking, running, canoeing, exactly. rowing. Biking, cross country swimming. skiing, all, all those types of things. Okay. And uh, what about that? Which is the best? What should we do? How should we do it? There's really none that is best. Any of those are great. So anything that you like and that you'll do regularly, that's the best kind of exercise. The worst kind of exercise is the one that you don't do. It's important to get the exercise regularly. Mm -hmm. So something on the order of 30 minutes a day for maintaining health and fitness is a great idea. Um, people who are wanting to lose or maintain weight loss probably up to an hour a day would be even better. Mm -hmm. And uh, walking is probably the simplest, and I like to say walking is king because almost anybody can do it. It's inexpensive. You can do it no matter where you're at. Mm -hmm. And um, you just want to walk at a, a good pace so that you can, you can still have a conversation, mm -hmm. um, but you're huffing and puffing a little bit. So and if you do that 30 minutes a day, you're doing great. What about strength training? You know, I want to mention one other thing, a pedometer. Okay. If you get one of these little pedometer devices, mm -hmm. and you can see if you get 10,000 steps a day, that'll help maintain good health. But I'm glad you brought up strength training. Okay. That's very important. Some people neglect it entirely. One of the biggest problems with aging is something called sarcopenia. Sarcopenia, what is Sarcopenia that? Sarcopenia is loss of muscle as mm. we get older. Mm -hmm. So you may weigh the same as you did uh, 30 years before, but when you look in the mirror, it looks a lot different. Okay. That's because you've lost muscle and instead it's been replaced by fat. But if you do strength training, these are simple things like calisthenics or light use of weights for strength. Even the elderly can build their strength and uh, this, this can help your health in many ways. Strength training. Okay, any other form of exercise? We've talked about aerobic, we've talked about strength training. What about uh, flexibility? Flexibility is very important. And um, you know, if you're flexible, you're much less likely to fall. You're much less likely to have injuries while mm -hmm. you're doing the other types of exercises. Um, and so staying, doing a simple stretching routine once a day can keep you flexible. Mm -hmm. uh, can keep your muscles from tightening up, can keep you from having uh, postural problems, back pain, uh, can help keep your balance and um, make life more pleasant and enjoyable. And that's what it's all about, living longer but also having a higher quality of life. So if you're out there walking, you could probably incorporate all these things into your routine fairly easily. That's right. You can do some simple stretching before you go out walking. You can finish up by maybe doing a few push-ups or, or mm -hmm. using some light weights uh, to build your strength. And um, if you do that, you know, the people that I know who are the most vigorous and vibrant well into old age without fail, they're always the ones who exercise. 
We're glad you joined us today, and we hope that you get on the move today, begin those, that exercise program. If you need to check with your physician or someone before you do that, we advise that you do that. Thank you, Dr. Orlich, for being with us. Thank you for being with us. We hope that you visit our website at newstart.com for more information about this or other subjects. And that as a result of today's program, you have a new start that starts right now. Thank you.